the days of lugging around heavy, bulky, multiple crates to demonstrate the effectiveness of the tracker are over. Allow me to introduce the new and improved Ferro Vantage S. Shift in a single, sleek, black Pelican case. To remove the Vantage S, there are four latches on the case to be opened. Once unlatched, the Pelican case opens away from you to expose the case contents. What's included with the Ferro Vantage S? Quick Release Mandrel, Vantage S, Ferro Power Supply, Power Cords, Ethernet Cord, Remote Air Temperature Port, User Manuals. To begin, place the mandrel onto a tripod. At 29.5 pounds, the tracker will need to be fully supported by the tripod and stability as well as sturdiness will need to remain a focus while choosing the tripod. The mandrel may be screwed on the head of a tripod using the clasps on each side, which open to allow the operator to apply pressure for assured tightness. The mandrel also consists of a locking lever which has been tucked to the side of the mandrel. This lever has three positions, open, which will allow the tracker to be placed upon the mount as well as removed. Partially opened, which will allow the tracker to be spun but will not allow the tracker to be removed. Locked, which will lock the tracker into place. This position should be used for all measurement purposes. Once the mandrel has been applied and is in the open position, the laser tracker may be applied. The tracker is removed from the case with the help of the retractable handle located on the top of the tracker, as well as the handle conveniently located along the bottom of the back side of the tracker. The tracker is placed directly on top of the mandrel, and the mandrel is moved from the open position to secure the tracker. With the tracker securely attached to the mandrel, plug in the included cables. The first cable to insert is the remote air temperature port. This cable is attached to the tracker on one end and the other end is not attached but left to gauge the temperature along with the humidity of the room for optimized operation. The second cable attached is the Ethernet cable. The third cable attached is the power cable. The cable provides DC power to your unit. Next, we will plug the other end of the power cable into the included power supply. Almost there! Insert the other end of the Ethernet cord into your computer. Finally, attach the second power cord to the power supply. At this point, all cordage will be attached and the device is fully operational. You may plug in the tracker and power it on by pressing the power button on the rear left side of the tracker. Once powered, the tracker will emit lights from both the rear control panel as well as the sides of the tracker. Now, launch CAM2 Measure 10 to connect the software to the device. Click the Devices tab and open the Device Control Panel. Click Add New Device and insert the IP address as 128.128.128.100. Click Connect. Once the tracker is connected, it will initiate a startup stability check. This will take some time. Once the check is concluded, the tracker may be initialized. Once this is complete, the dialog window may be closed and the tracker will be operational. A popular feature improved with greater frame rate and a wider field of view is gestures. For the tracker to acquire an SMR at a distance from the tracker, wave the SMR left to right, right to left, and left to right for a total of three passes in front of the tracker. The cameras will pick up the motion and the tracker lights will turn blue to show initiation. The tracker will then turn yellow as it attempts to connect. Finally, the tracker will turn green when the SMR is located and successful connection has been made. 